Hello, citizens of the proud and mighty nation of the Latin Empire. Welcome to the frontiers. We're playing Crusader Kings 2 as the almighty Latin Empire and uh, its dynasty. Van Flanderen is very... doing very well. How's her brother? Ah, uh, Beaumont. Or Boemond? Boemond? Whatever his name is. He's my brother. We can press... Uh, no, no, no. We can... Uh, Imprison the guy because he acted dishonorably towards me. I don't even recall him doing any nasty things. I think he participated in a plot or something. Yeah, love is raised too long. Just fought some wars, if I remember. Oof, a lot of truces. Where's the closest one? They're not even sorted by order. Alright, well, at least in three years we'll be able to fight a the king of so-called Serbia once more for some lands. We can't even kill him. Can we attempt to kill the Sultan of Rome? No. Can we attempt to kill anyone at all who is of any interest to us whatsoever? Check out the digital map notes to see where exactly those... The, uh, oh. Alright, so the Kingdom of Italy is basically everything that is not Sicily. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Eventually, I would like to get my hands on the Kingdom of Sicily. That could be great. Do we have any strong claimants? No, 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 no. Do we have any strong claimants in the Kingdom of Sicily? Uh, none that are willing to join my court. That is just a shame. Croatia as well. Claimants for that? Strong claimants that are not bishops, please. Are you actually a bishop? Strong claim in the Kingdom of Hungary. That's not quite the claim I was looking for. Alright, well, let's just roll the ball forward, I guess, and uh, see what happens. We could go after Pisa or Genoa or Venice. I believe we do not have a truce with him. Yes, we could do a counterclaim war. For some reason, I can't go after Genoa itself, despite having this guy as a vassal. Hmm. Not sure why is this a thing. The Jura and the Jura Kingdom of Italy is this big. And yet I can't fight a de jure war for any of the land that is not part of Kingdom of... It, oof, bollocks. Well, in any case, our army should be marching home. It is indeed. Let's let some time pass. It seems like we're reinforcing our retinue. Just conquered this province. We have formed the duchy as well. Give it a yacht. Our son-in-law has a daughter. Uh, sorry, sorry, he has a son named Aubrey. Sure. Who are you? Embargo war on Serene Doge of Genoa. We will not only join the war on your side, but will also present you with 200 gold. Should we fail, Pisa will pay any war reparations. You know, they don't necessarily have any task at hand, so to speak. So we might as well say yes. At least for the 200 gold. We can actually just call to arms for the, to the Norwegian king. Norwegian king. That pronunciation, right? You could also just send him. Ah. Would you like to help me out, German Emperor? You're not busy with anything, if I recall. No. Ah! May your humours rot in your living body. Oh, brother. I thought you would be a... more trusting towards your kin. 
May your humans rot in your living... Look at that! The King of Norway is more willing to support my war. I am... Deeply, deeply disappointed. Oh. <laughs> and another tournament, tournament cancelled. That's pretty darn hilarious. We have a peasant revolt for Abydos. Luckily, we have an army moving in just right now. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's a slaughter. Ah, for some reason we're fighting the King of Serbia. The blasted, wretched thing. Who also happens to be the King of Sicily, but... <gasps> Yes, at last. At the very last, we can revoke this county. We have a claim. Our vassals dare not object. Why the hell does France still own this barony? That is stupid. Visit revolt has ended. And we have too many holdings in our domain. Hmm. There will be four counties. What is our land of the holding? Do we own a castle? Yes, indeed we do own a castle. Let's create a vassal from there. Why are you here? <laughs> that is rather stupid. Hmm. Still have the righteous imprisonment. Still can go for that uh, de jour claim. No need to, but I guess it is a better reason to go to war. If we're going to go to war for, the, for one county anyway, we might as well di have to use the de jour claim. No, no, I did not lose the German Empire in a revolt. I just decided that it would be unfair, let's put it like that, for me to play the rest of this game uh, with owning this much land. Plus, it is very, very unfun to govern there, and uh, I decided to give it away to my kin, seeing as, you know, I could ensure that he stays in power, which means my family stays in power. Unfortunately, he decided to not follow the ways of the family. I should have sent him his, this gift before I declared the war. <laughs> or right before I called him in, rather. I'm sure the King of Serbia will be of no problem for us whatsoever. Whatsoever. Hmm. Still voting for the Maximum City Levies, eh? The glorious German Empire is ruled by a Frenchman. Not just any Frenchman. He's my kin. My flesh and blood. My brother. The population of Ephesus has converted to the Catholic faith. Very good. This is one of the counties in Anatolia. We started pushing forward. Alright, so we're m moving into Genoa's armies. Moving into Genoa's holdings, I'm sorry. Already well, moved into Genoa's armies and we have completely annihilated them. Destroy their their uh, fortresses. We could use Serbia to get some free war score. Ah, very good. We have converted Rhodos. We can now move. Let's go to um, Smyrna, I guess. Yeah. Maybe I should send should have sent the guy into Atalea to convert the count there.
Oh yes, I still have the holding. Not sure why I can't I declare the Jour War on Serene Doge. Can I declare uh, the Jour War on Doge of Venice? Yes. Oh no, this these would be for Crete. Maybe I should declare for Crete. King of Lotharingia. Haha <laughs> He wants to marry the Princess Dorothea of the Byzantine Empire. Let's accept. We do not need the girl anymore. Come on, get rid of the generous traitors. Roxy is not dead yet, but I will see to it. I shall see to it. Russia is still orthodox, unfortunately. And there is still a branch, an historian branch of orthodoxy that is, uh, that the Ilkhanid is following. <laughs> Don't even know why did they decide to pick an historian, but I guess. Whatever floats their boat. Let's move on to Serbia. Ah, Genoese decided to land into Nikea. <laughs> That's funny. Assemble the mob. And as soon as we are done with this war, I figure we should go after Crete. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. We have destroyed the trade post that belonged to Venice. Aid no trade republic allowed in my country. How soon till the truce with the French king? Is This is the same king. Yes, indeed it is. The truce with the French king lasts for seven long more years. My goodness. Pretty sure we will be able to declare at least two more wars for the whole kingdom of Burgundy. Oh my god, this is a long time. Do we have a suitable ruler for this? I could fuck everything up and appoint the Count of Olomoic to rule the kingdom of Burgundy, but that would be just foolish. How's my wife? We're both pretty old, I'm pretty sure. I kind of want to divorce her. Seriously? Oh my, oh my, Pope. Oh my, oh my. Can't approve the relationships. Uh. Oh, you missed a lot, Noah, did you? Right now, they're not really a threat for our establishment, so I will not target the Aztec Empire. I will instead let them destroy as many of the Catholics and Spaniards as possible. They were never friends to our kingdom. Why should I, why should I feel anything for the vile... Barbarians. Hello Zondark and welcome. Thank you for the following my stream. 26 followers now. Yay! Getting real popular. Am I right? Am I? Please tell me I am. Alright. We might as might lose that holding, but that's just fine. Yep, we lost a holding. That is a okay. 
Oh, the Serbian holdings do not matter for the war score. Oh. That is very disappointing. We have castles belly. You're not missing out on much, Sheath and Jewelry. They're not really adding that much to the game. It's just just another horde that invades. But from the west this time. And it's amazing for converted games, as uh, Noah Boy rightfully points out. Correctly points out, maybe. Would be a better word for that. Jewish exile. Fleeing persecution elsewhere in Europe. Uh, has showed up at your court. His time spent abroad has gifted him with many connections, and by all accounts, he's an able diplomat. He would make a fine chancellor. Indeed? Nachman, where are you? Nachman or Nachman, I'm not sure how to pronounce this name. That ain't Frankish name, it's a Jewish name. We have a prisoner, apparently. Two prisoners. There we go. Nachman of Banda Shahpur. He is indeed a very, very very skillful diplomat. But I only have a duke that is doing almost as good of a job. Hmm. We have a better duke, but this guy needs... Yeah, he needs to keep opinion high. Although this guy... He's got much higher... Spying skills. Better spying capabilities, I should say. And of course, maybe I should pick a king over a, a duke. I'm sorry, you're just gonna be collecting taxes. You're gonna be my, uh, King's Hand, or whatever that was called in, uh... No, Master of the Coin, that was, in the Game of Thrones. The King Centule, Master of the Coin. I wish we could replace, rename those titles. Oh look, now it shows you in the tooltip how much, how many, how much exactly, how much opinion exactly do we gain by making somebody a chancellor or another member of the council? Your rampage is over, Genoese. And that's a surrender. Gained very little. Gained like 200 gold. A little bit more than that. Maybe we we might actually have lost more than we gained. But that is A-OK. -okay. Do we have enough? No, we do not have enough money to send the gift. I could fuck with it and just uh, give a bunch of holdings to the Pope. The fact is, I do not have enough. Do not have the holdings I wish to give him to. I give. I wish to give to him. Blah. Bloody hell. Why are you fighting? <gasps> there is a new Basilius. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. More de jour claims. Oh, we are, we ran out of de jour claims. Do we have any? Um, Landed people that could uh, claim stuff? Not the Empire. Dori Lion. No. Pretty sure we would just have to go for a county claim on this one. Yep. That is quite unfortunate. Let us go for that then. Is this war then? Byzantine Venetian de jour war over Venezia. <laughs> How pathetic. How pathetic is that? Oh my. How pathetic and pretentious. This is another grand tournament we're delaying. That's just ridiculous at this point. Ridiculous. We're going to arrive on the same day. Who, managed to sh who manages to get there first? Not us. Again, on the same day. 
God is with us. Uh, or maybe not. Truce with the King of Serbia is running out. And now we got you. Destroy the Basilius. And his army. 65% already done. 96. He's not even a Lascaris, for God's sake. <laughs> Pathetic. What kind of a dynasty is this? How's Azen? Oh, would you look at that? This is actually... This actually looks very much like the coat of arms of the Latin Empire. Boril. <laughs> Curious. King of Bulgaria? His ancestors were kings of Bulgaria. The kings that weren't that wanted my head. Once. I will kill him. He will be dead. I shall support the church. Piety is not as easy to come by as money is. That should be it for the war. I will enforce my demands. Thus gaining another bishopric. Very well. And unfortunately, the time has come for you to go, my friend. I'm sorry. Life is very, very... Um, not fair to children, you see. Euphemia. That's a very familiar name if you watched Code of Gears. Of course, some people will be disgusted by the fact that I've watched any kind of anime, but I watch only select assortment of titles, not just any kind of anime. In, in fact, I don't. I can't actually remember when the, was the last time I watched any kind of anime. I feel like every th every anime these days is just too bad for my taste. <laughs> now Doge of Genoa asks me to di to attack Pisa. Of course, free money. That is free money indeed. Lelouch. <laughs> I love that anime, but not as much as you think. Mm. Crusade, eh? Ah! <laughs> as expected, the Shia boy succeeded, and we have a new Shia caliph on the throne. This leads to some very, very interesting prospects. I will, uh, of course go and the crusade once more. I think there is a claimant. Yes, indeed there is. Doesn't matter. A Christian kingdom over here in the Middle East is always good for my taste. Anyway, we're going to continue this um, in the next part for the YouTube, so if you're watching the stream, don't go away. We're going to continue, of course, but this episode for YouTube is over. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment rate and possibly subscribe to my channel for this like this. I will see you again next time. Have a good day.